In this video, I'm going to show you how to merge multiple uh, images on a screen using uh, a layer mask test layer mask technique. So the first thing you're going to see is I have in this one a uh, skyline of New York City with the Empire State Building on the left. Uh, as my background image, I'm going to go File, Open as a Layer. And I have another one of Big Ben. I want to go file open as a layer and then bring that one in as Big Ben. Now you're going to see I purposely chose this one to be extremely large because I'm going to have to scale this down. So you're going to see I'm going to hit my scale button. I'm going to come up here and move and I'm going to align it so my Big Ben is in my right hand corner. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a layer mask and I'm gonna make sure it's white here. I'm gonna click on that and click on add. You can see that layer mask over here on the right side. I'm gonna click on my gradient tool. I'm gonna to choose to do a linear one. Uh, the longer I click my line here, you're gonna notice I get that fading technique. I'm gonna control Z. If I do it up and down, I get the fading from my up and down. If I do it on a diagonal, I get that fading on a diagonal. If I do a shorter line, I get less of a fading technique. So again, this is something artistically you can play around with to merge those two pictures. And again, just like I have been doing, if I wanna save it to continue working on it, I'm gonna leave it here and save as as an XCF file, or if I wanna export this as a JPEG or a PNG lossless file, so I can then use this in one of my computer science projects. Now, the other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back, I have those scaled. Another technique that you can do is you can add an alpha channel to my top layer, which we can see is there. I've added my alpha channel. I can grab my uh, eraser then, and I can choose my different size, and I can manually come through and merge my images. Uh, I don't think this works as well as using the layer mask, but I can also change the hardness of my uh, eraser so I can get a little bit more of a softening line as you can see here to have different portions of that image to come through uh, and again all that I can definitely change my type of brush here or eraser here to get different effects that I'd want but I think that first technique that I showed adding a layer mask rather than adding a transparent or background or an alpha channel with an eraser works much better.